travel to the big station at the end of the line. Engines from the other railway sometimes pull their train. These engines stay the night and go home next day. Gordon was talking one day to one of these. When I was young and green, he said, I remember going to London. Do you know the place? The station's called King's Cross. King's Cross? snorted the engine. London's Euston. Everybody knows that. Rubbish, said Duck. London's Paddington. I know. I worked there. They argued till they went to sleep. They argued when they woke up. They were still arguing when the other engine went away. Stupid thing, said Gorn crossly. I've no patience. Stupid yourself, said Duck. London's Paddington. Paddington, do you hear? Stop arguing, James broke in. You make me tired. You both have agreed about something anyway. What's that? London's not Houston, <laughs> laughed James. Now shut up. Gordon rolled away, still grumbling. I'm sure it's King's Cross. I'll go and prove it. But that was easier said than done. London lay beyond the big station at the end of the line. Gordon had to stop there. Another engine then took his train. If I didn't stop, he thought, I could go to London. One day he ran right through the station. Another time he tried to start before the fireman could uncouple the coaches. He tried all sorts of tricks, but it was no good. His driver checked him every time. Oh dear, he thought sadly, I'll never get there. One day he pulled the express to the station as usual. His fireman uncoupled the coaches and he ran onto his station to wait till it was time to go home. The coaches waited and waited at the platform, but their engine didn't come. A porter ran across and spoke to Gordon's driver. The inspector's on the platform. He wants to see you. The driver climbed down from the cab and walked over to the station. He came back in a few minutes, looking excited. Hello, said the fireman. What's happened? The engine for the express has turned over when it was coming out the yard. Nothing else could come in or out. They want us to take the train to London. I said we would if the fact the drawer agreed. They telephoned and he said we could do it. How's that? Fine, said the fireman. We'll show them what the fat control engines can do. Come on, said Gordon, let's go. He rolled quickly over the crossings and back down to the train. It was only a few minutes before the guard blew his whistle, but Gordon thought it was ages. Come on, come on, he puffed at the coaches. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to town, we're going to town, sang the coaches. Slowly at first, and faster and faster. Gordon found that London was a long way away. Never mind, he said, I like a good run to stretch my wheels. But all the same, he was glad when London came in sight. The factotrawer came into his office the next morning. He looked at the letters on his desk. One had a London postmark. Hmm, I wonder how Gordon's getting on, he said. The station master knocked and came in. He looked excited. Excuse me, sir, have you seen the news? Not yet. Why? Just look at this, sir. The fact controller took the newspaper. Good gracious me, he said. There's Gordon. The headlines, too. Famous engine at London Station. Police call to control crowds. The fact controller read on, absorbed. Gordon returned next day. The fact controller spoke to his driver and fireman. I see you had a good welcome in London. We certainly did, sir. We signed autographs till our arms ached. And Gordon had his photograph taken from so many directions at once that he didn't know which way to look. Good, smiled the factotrawler. I expect he enjoyed himself. Didn't you, Gordon? No, sir. I didn't. Why, I've not. London's all wrong, answered Gordon sadly. They've changed it. It isn't King's Cross anymore, it's St. Pancras. <laughs>